Howdy, I'm Matt, and in this quick video we are going to be discussing the dirtiest, hackiest tool which I own and you could possibly have in your arsenal. Now we are not talking about the hot glue gun back there, instead we are talking about the Torch of Doom. Now I bought this uh, off Amazon, I'll, I'll put a link in the video description, uh, and uh, it's actually one of those cake making ones, so I'll get it to go in. It's a cake made for doing brulees or whatever uh, to melt the sugar on the top. Uh, and what I've actually done, uh, and what I actually use mine for is that, well, number one, I don't cook, but um, if I did, I'd probably burn it, uh, is that this tool has just been so useful to my adventures with RC. Uh, and the reason why it's been so useful with my adventures with RC is because of two very, very simple tools. Number one is an old piece of push rod, and you'll see up here on the end uh, is that it has received a lot of abuse and it's a little bit wonky. And the reason why it's a little bit wonky is because what I use it for is that what I'll do is bend it maybe into an L shape like that. And of course you can make more on ornate uh, options uh, and then what I'll then do is get the dirty blowtorch out which is just uh, it will release the inner pyromaniac in you and then what we'll do is the what I do is then heat up the end till it glows red and you'll see it's just started to glow red now okay and then dig that into foam so if I want to make another track I'll then get a ruler and then mark it down and I'll be able to like, well, when did I use this last? Uh, like the mini talon to put the wires in the wings uh, or anything where I need to a really crisp or str strong joint. That's always a concern for me is that if I'm cutting out a section uh, in a wing, maybe to put a video transmitter in for example, is that I can get a very crisp cut with a, with a blade. But the reality is, is that if I just get in there and heat up the edge, uh, and go round with that is that it makes the foam a lot more stiffer around the edge so it just like encapsulates the the part maybe the video transmitter uh, in the foam a lot more securely now another tip for you is that well this the one thing which i like about this one is that what i can do and you need to go very careful with this is that once you've lit it is that you can use the switch on the side and then it stays lit now another really, really, instead of using something like this, if you've got something where you need to create really, really straight lines, is that if you get a metal ruler, put that on top of the model to get the, out. that's still hot, so we'll pretend that's the ruler, is that you then get your craft knife, heat up the craft knife blade, and remember craft knife blades are stupid cheap, so you just heat that up like so, okay, so you notice it's glowing red, and then get that in, and then cut the line in the foam. That works ridiculously well. The best example which I've got for me using that was uh, on the, the, the on the recent build was the Wild Thing Mini uh, 30 inch model where I had to, I, I made up some underneath where I had the servos that they'd pre-cut these great big servo holes. Well, I didn't have any great big servos like that. So I then filled in the holes with some f foam out of the wing cord. And then I had to make out the, cut out the holes for the servos. Uh, and then what I did was just heat up the craft. Line. Instead of cutting, because with black EPP foam, uh, it blunts these blades really, really quickly. Uh, and by the way, these are blades 10A, a little sub tip for you. Ele number 11 blades, while they're very popular, they are very, very fragile. And I've had num numerous of these blades snap off and hit me in the face. And that's why I wear glasses when I'm using these. Uh, is that if you move to a 10A blade, the, the angle is much stiffer on it. And the blade, I've not had one of these break on me yet. Anyway, coming back onto the topic, we were chatting about the... Uh, wild thing and yeah I'd filled up the holes with new foam or foam from the wing cords and instead of just going around and trying because you go through the blade so quickly with black EPP foam so what I did instead was just blowtorch the blade use the ruler or just freehand it uh, and got cut around and I got some lovely cuts in the foam absolutely beautiful and it's one of those things which you you just need to experience for yourself is it really is like putting a, a hot knife through butter when it comes to foam if you if you put a hot sculpture blade through foam, obviously it, it, it goes through like butter and it's absolutely beautiful. It does stink, so you want to do that in a well-ventilated area. Uh, but that said, this little dirty hack tool 
is one of the tools which I keep underneath the bench uh, for use at every available opportunity because it's great fun because basically it's a blowtorch and we got fire. Uh, as far as filling it up, you just stick uh, normal lighter gas in the bottom uh, and that's it to be honest. You just got a little twiddly thing on the right hand side which makes the, the flame bigger or move it down or smaller. A little pizza ignition unit on it. Yeah, really, really like it. I cannot remember how much I paid for it. It was probably, oh, I'm going to say 20 quid. I, I, I'll, I'll put the link, like I said, I'll put a link to it in the video description. By the way, it will not be an affiliate link um, uh, because I don't want to do this for that. I'm just to be frank, brand, you know, brutally honest. Remember, I bought this out of my own money for my own abuses. Uh, it did come with a stand. The stand was such a shit uh, because you would put it in there uh, and then it would just squeeze it because the stand wasn't a perfect fit. It, it, I kept finding it would kept rising uh, out uh, of the stand itself. And um, yeah, it got a bit annoying to be honest. So I think I just threw it away in the end. Uh, that said, if you fill it, keep it filled up, it has an extra bit of gravity to it and it will stay on the bench quite well by itself. So yeah, this is my dirty little hack tool. Absolute brilliant fun. Uh, oh, I also use it for shrinking heat shrink as well. Uh, those of you which have tried using a lighter, mm, yeah, it ends up with black stuff over it. This is a much cleaner way of doing it. Uh, just do make sure that you do keep it a good distance away. Uh, and as for making, or like putting a hot craft knife through foam, absolutely brilliant uh, and then for awkward shapes uh, just a bit of just a piece of bent push rod uh, heats it up has just worked so brilliantly because something like this it's like using a pencil you can really get in and you can really craft the foam in and around whatever shape you need to make you can do that with a piece like this and a blowtorch like that so with that said for myself matt if you found this review uh or this kind of product product review i'm, ju I'm just sharing with you my one of my favorite day hack tools uh useful uh let me know down in the comments section underneath this video i do like it a lot uh and it really is one of my favorite little hack tools i <laughs> and pretty much every build i use it on uh it is uh useful and that was the reason why for me making this video I wanted to share with you uh, a tool which I find useful uh, when I'm building models because I know that you will find it also useful for you when you're building your models too. So with that said for myself Matt thank you very much for taking the time to watch this episode uh, and enjoying my little indulgence here with my dirty blowtorch. For myself Matt, cheerios! <laughs>